episode five of the Explaining series. We're talking about my fourth studio album, Approve Yourself First. The name of the song today is Misled. Now, I made this song early 2023, maybe like a year ago. My music is usually inspired by the things that happen, or that have happened, or that might happen. So, this song, um, it was tough to make. Exactly what happened with the song is what I'm about to tell you. Misled. Remember this. Misled. I was at work one day. Um, at this point, I was working with Village Green at a property in Southfield, Michigan. It's called Navin Woods. Um, that was a hard. That was easily the hardest property I've ever had to work at. There were 600 apartments. We were a little understaffed on the leasing side, and I remember it was just one day. Um, it was one day, it was something that has happened in the past, but it was the one time where I really stood up for myself. I was really emotional, but I was proud of myself. So what happened was, I was working with my coworker, I'm not going to do names, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do names, but we were talking and I can't remember exactly how the conversation went. But somewhere along the lines, she said that I was white. I was acting white, or I'm really white at the core. And if you know me, you know that I've been dealing with that forever, honestly, like as long as I can remember back in fifth grade, probably, where people see a black man, they see him, they see him on the news, they see him doing sports, they see him doing entertainment. I present myself in a very professional way when I get to work whether it's business casual or it's complete business, you know what I'm saying? I want to be the best I can. I want to be who I am, dress how I want to dress, represent myself and the company that I work, and my family, my friends, you know? Whoever you are, the way you present yourself reflects on how you care about your life and who you care about in your life. Wherever you are, especially when you're by yourself with other people, you know, that aren't your family and friends. After she said that, I took some time and I cussed her out. I cussed her out. Pretty bad, honestly. I was using some uh, some really bad words. And I get this weird thing, like when I get mad, I get really emotional because I'm not a mean person, like at all. I'm, I'm, I'm confrontational when I need to be. I try to avoid it if I can, but it really set me off. All the years of people calling me white, People saying I act white, people saying I'm white to my core, people saying I'm black or I'm really white. All of that is a bunch of BS. It's a bunch of BS. And I let her hear it. And she did end up apologizing a few days later. Um, it was kind of awkward the days after that, just knowing what happened. But she, she even cried and I felt bad because while it was about the situation, like, but while it was about what happened, it's still all my anger from like the last 20 years just really came out and like she got all of it. And I realized how important it is going forward that if someone says that to me or anything around that or anything in that space, I'm gonna let you hear it because I think it's stupid. I am black, I am who I am. Um, Vice versa, I hear people saying, well, you know, they act black, they act white. What does that mean? Like, what does that mean? And I'm talking to you because I'm sure some of you guys that are watching have said this to me as well. And I want you to understand how important this is, this topic, because it pisses me off. And I, I really don't understand why this is, why are we like this, because this is why racism is still a thing. We put labels on people because we view them how we want to view them without getting to know these people. So when I'm working back then in 2023, I'm working in a predominantly black property with a, the best way to say it is a rougher demographic. And I'm dressed very nice. I'm presenting myself very nice. I get looks every day. I get people asking me, why are you dressed so nice? What's the occasion? Uh, like, I'm dressing nice because that's who I am. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a problem with that, why don't you just say it instead of beat around the bush? Like, what's your angle? I get it. 
you know, some black people may not dress the way I dress, look the way I look, talk the way I talk, think the way I think. That happens for white people too. So I, I, I just, I never really understand why me personally, why there's been a target on my back, why people come for me, because you don't really know who I am. This song was really just like, you, you, you are really misled. Try to get to know me, try to get to know anybody before you just label them. Like you can think whatever you think about somebody, but until you ask them questions, until you try to understand who they are, you are in no place to label somebody the way you want to label them. Get to know people. This is the issue that we have, not just with black people, with white people. We stereotype people, we, we put them in some light that we think how they should be or how they should act. No, we are all our own person, we are all our own people. We do what we want to do because that's, what's, that's what we see fit. That's how we view ourselves. So me going forward after that happened, okay, I'm going to stand up for myself at any point. I'm going to talk how I want to talk. I'm going to dress how I want to dress. I'm going to be who I am going to be because the way other people will see me, it doesn't matter anymore. And it's crazy because I get looks all the time from white or black people, Mexican, Chinese, it don't matter. And people don't need to say anything. I read people very well. I can read your body language. I can see how you're looking at me. I can see the way you change how you are with me. Um, it's, it's honestly, it's ridiculous. So this song, I was so angry. I got home, I read this song right away. I finished it that night. I made the beat. The beat is eerie. It matches the vibes of what I'm trying to talk about because all my life, I feel like I've been misled by other people. They, they want me to be someone who I'm not, and I'm not going to do that. Um, I've had friends, hey, you act white. Um, I get family, look at me certain ways. Um, honestly, like, you can take that shit to your grave. I, honestly, that's how I really feel. Um, I'm done sugarcoating things. I'm done not standing up for myself. I'm done not confronting people with how I feel. So, it is what it is, honestly. Um, so, this song was tough because I'm not an angry person, but I felt like I really need to get the message out. Um, and, you know, now that I know, wouldn't dare share my last piece of bread is one of the most important lines in this song because if you are misled by who I am, or if you say things to me that offends me, I'm gonna let you know. Um, if you don't apologize to me, I'm never gonna forget it. If you apologize to me, I'll understand, I'll forgive. I'm still never gonna forget it because the way people treat you is who they really are, especially when it's raw emotion, when it comes off so easy. I hope this message isn't only, the, this message isn't only supposed to suit me and my feelings. I know there's people out there that feel a certain way. I hope that my message to you in this video is for you to stand up for yourself, for you to be who you are, for you to confront people and let them know. I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to change who I am. And uh, that's that. Episode five, misled. Next episode is number six. I will see you guys on the flip.